Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are going to be taking a look at Doc Ock from the Spider Build-A-Figure wave of Marvel Legends. Here we have Doc Ock in the front window box, Legends logo at the top, the Spider Build-A-Figure logo there. We get some artwork of Doc Ock on both sides, same there on each side. And on the back we get a great product shot as well as all the other figures needed in this wave to complete the spider build a figure keeping in mind that doc ock does not actually come with the piece up at the top here we do have the read up auto octavius gears up with four mechanical tentacle appendages as the evil genius doc ock and on the bottom we do have the upc code so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have this in stock but enough about that let's get this open and take a look at doc ock and here is Dr. Octopus out of the packaging with his tentacles all plugged in. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a cool figure. Uh, you know, there's a bummer about the tentacles not being on a bendy wire or, you know, moldable in any way that they're in this preset form. And that's kind of a bummer. I don't really care that these ones are facing outwards. These ones are going to be great for various grabbing poses and things like that. But the ones that are going out, it's kind of a bummer. Um, because I'm not really sure how I'm going to utilize those in any displays yet. But overall, I mean, it's kind of cool having them go in all different directions like that because it is a uh, pretty menacing look. But, yeah, very cool-looking figure. Uh, he doesn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece, and the only accessories he comes with are the tentacles. So we're going to get a better look real quick at the tentacles, and then we're going to get a better look at this new body sculpt with Doc Ock. Uh, as well as some of the articulation and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to get a better look at the tentacles, and then we'll get a better look at the figure. And the ex only accessories that you get with them are going to be his tentacles. So you do get two of these U-shaped tentacles here, and then you get two of these S-shaped tentacles here. And, uh, you know, they're not flexible in any way, or at least any permanent way. I mean, they are flexible, but they're not going to hold any of their shape, which is a big bummer. Uh, all of them are going to have the same type of port, or peg rather, that's going to go into the port in the back. There is no differentiating uh, you know, spot for them, so you can put them wherever you want. I did notice down here that you have, like, this one says XL, this one says XR, and then these guys say SL and SR. Uh, I assumed that originally it meant, like, shoulder left, shoulder right, but I don't know what... Uh, what the X would be. So I figured these ones must belong on the top, but it doesn't really matter. You can put them however you want. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, you do have, of course, the end here. No flexibility or rather articulation in the claw itself. You can pop these off. As a matter of fact, two of them will come out of the packaging uh, off of the uh, ball joint here. And you don't get a ton of articulation out of it. You at least get rotation and a little bit to go around. So that can help with some of the posing. And the only paint that's really on these guys is that blue dab there in the middle. Uh, the rest of it is just the, the same color plastic throughout. But uh, enough about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dr. Octopus, the figure himself. So getting right up close to Dr. Octopus, we can see this pretty menacing look he's got on his face, teeth clenched, and uh, definitely in a, a scowl. Uh, mine, you can see his glasses are a little lopsided. Uh, so the glasses are a separate piece, but they are glued, it looks like, right above the ear. But we can actually take a peek down here, and we have fully uh, painted eyes. So that is definitely a cool feature. Uh, if you wanted to take the glasses off, you can. Uh, but again, they are glued, it looks like, at the side. Mine's got some real unfortunate flashing there on his cheek, it looks like. So that is kind of a downer. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, and then we can see we have the hair, which is a soft goods piece at the top. Uh, and that it can kind of come up and lift, but obviously that's glued on as well. But that's that classic bowl cut. So very cool looking head sculpt though uh you know it would have been neat to get maybe a calm looking head sculpt uh, but whatever you know that's not terrible uh line work on the paint detail there not bad looks like i got a chunk of something missing out there and we do get this new body sculpt which is cool and it's just his classic outfit uh you know not a whole lot of going on you know you can see that it's meant to be fabric here uh, his arms again meant to be fabric He's got one fisted hand, and then he's got a hand that he could be holding something, but he doesn't come with anything. Uh, and then we have just, you know, chunky figure, which is cool. 
uh, new body sculpt for uh, for Marvel Legends. So we got a couple of chunky figures that we could probably use this on that uh, I think we'll be seeing soon, I would imagine. And then going down again, it just continues the pattern of making it look like uh, you know cloth and boots and everything are sculpted quite nicely. But yeah, that head sculpt is definitely pretty cool. And uh, I, I love the classic look there of Doc Ock. And real quick, looking at the scale, we can see that Dr. Octopus is coming in just at the six inch mark. Uh, he almost looks like he's kind of on the shorter side, but not too bad. As far as the articulation goes, you of course have your left and right on the head. He can look down, eh, not too bad. One thing I noticed, this is a really stiff hinge uh, on his neck. I couldn't really get it to look back, and every time I tried, his head would basically just pop off, and you can see we still had a little ways to go. But you can push that back and uh, basically just pop the head back on. And it might be kind of loose, but you can get a good looking up pose, especially if you're going to have him bending down. Uh, but then you can just pull it back, and we can see he still had a little bit to go there. Um, so that's not too bad. It's just really stiff. As far as his arms go, he can get up into a pretty nice T pose there. Of course, he has full rotation. He does have rotation on the bicep. Double jointed elbow, although it doesn't do too much, he gets slightly better than 90 degrees. He does have rotation and, of course, a hinge on his hands. He does have, in lieu of the traditional ab crunch that we see, uh, he does have this crunch, which actually gets him pretty far forward and backwards, and this is where his rotation is. He does not have any kind of waist rotation. One thing you want to be aware of is if you have those tentacles in, depending on how you pose them, you could potentially block how those are going to be. Uh, so you, not a big deal, but also be aware that obviously if you are swiveling him around in any way, he's going to have arms that are going to be in one way and the other way. So if you're doing any kind of flexi posing. Here we have pretty decent uh, splits there. He can kick forward pretty far, backwards, not really at all. He does have upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which actually are pretty deep. Uh, he does have a boot cut, and then of course he does have an ankle pivot as well as up and down. And for a quick comparison, here is Dr. Octopus next to the Pizza Spidey. One of the reasons many of us are really excited, here he is next to a couple of his Sinister Six pals. I still need Mysterio from the Lizard Wave, and I haven't even opened my Vulture. It's the Ultimate Vulture, so I don't have the original Vulture, so I eh, might be able to make do. but. Definitely going to be really cool to have a Sinister Six set up here and uh, have this classic Dr. Octopus look for it. So that about does it for this review, guys. And, uh, you know, I wanted to try to see just how uh, I could use his tentacles here in some different ways. And even though you can't pose them the way you want, I think you can still get some pretty cool poses, uh, you know, even with what you have to work with. And uh, I actually kind of like the setup. I will say, though, it took me forever. This is all just balancing. I don't have any peg stands or anything like that. And it fell over, I don't know. It, this took me like 20 minutes to, to get it to actually finally stop and stand like this. But uh, definitely very cool figure. Uh, the downside, obviously, uh, with the uh, non-flexibility of the tentacles. But again, I think you can kind of work within that realm if necessary. I just love that we got a new body sculpt for essentially the chubby villain, which uh, you got a couple other villains that we could definitely use this body mold on, and uh, maybe even some heroes, as a matter of fact. And it's just great to get another just iconic Spider-Man villain that is updated with the new Hasbro line. Uh, so I love this figure. I think it's great. I don't have a Doc Ock figure right now, uh, aside from this guy, so I'm excited to get him. Definitely pick him up. Uh, he's worth it, in my opinion, for sure. But as I said, that does it for this review, guys. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like them, please make sure to hit that like button. If you got any comments, leave them down below. Love reading your comments. But uh, as always, again, thanks for watching the video, and have a great day.